Hi guys, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Isaiah. Today I am going to go out and try and buy a microphone and a camera so I can stop recording on my phone because I am tired of recording on my phone and I'm tired of the audio quality. I just wanna better the quality of my content and I'm trying to get more consistent and I'm trying to like, I'm just trying, I'm trying social media. I've been trying social media, but I'm trying to be more consistent and put out more content and stuff. So hopefully buying camera and buying a microphone will help me to motivate myself to put out better content because, you know, if I spend a couple hundred dollars on a camera, I better be recording stuff, right? That's my thought process. I'm gonna get my money's worth. So anyways, can you guys hear that drilling noise? They're doing, um... They're renovating a few of the condo units around my condo as they do. So if you guys hear a power drill or anything like that, just know that they're renovating. So anyways, I just need to get out the house because it's 12 noon, it's 1240. Can you see the time? Anyways, let's go outside. Construction. Y'all, the audio sounds bad because I got my AC blasting and it's for a good reason. It's hot and yeah, so I'm going to have to yell and this is the reason why I want to get a microphone and a better camera because a microphone when I'm recording in the car with my AC going, it's not going to be that much of an issue and I won't have to yell over this um, AC. Let me turn it off real quick so I can show you how loud this is. Like, okay, so I don't have to yell, but when I turn it on, why isn't it blowing? But when I turn it on, see, there we go, there we go. See, but when I turn it back on, now I gotta yell so y'all can hear me. And then when I start driving and all that road noise and the engine noise and stuff like that, it really just drowns me out. So that's why I'm getting a microphone and that's why I'm getting a camera because this camera quality on this iPhone 15 is not cute. All right, so let's go on ahead and get on with it. I was gonna give you guys a story time while I was driving. I, I was gonna give you guys a story time while I was driving, but I don't feel like yelling the entire way to Best Buy. I was gonna tell you guys about my Disney uh, Cruise Line experience working for Disney Cruise Line. But as you can see right now, it's just a lot going on and I do not feel, I seriously am not about to yell all the way to the store. So I might just tell that later when I park in the parking lot and get something to eat. So, you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. I will see you guys at Best Buy. All right, y'all, I'm at Best Buy and the selection here is real sad. Now, I heard that they were closing down, but for the camera, like, this all they, that's all they got for the cameras. That'll make no sense. And then I'm looking for one of those small little microphones that you can put like on your shirt. All they got is these big ass um, podcast microphones. I don't need a podcast studio mic. I, I don't need that. I just want a small little, a small little thing to put on my shirt. So, um, yeah, Best Buy is down bad. And I would have just ordered off of Amazon because I know y'all gonna be like, just order Amazon, order Amazon. Bitch, I like to see my stuff in person so I know the quality of what I'm looking at so I can see exactly what it is. Like, I can see that in, I can see that in person that I don't want none of this shit that they got. Number one, that's 706, that's $770. And then the big one is $935. I know that in person, I don't want to pay that damn price, and especially not for this shit. And number two, I can see in person 
what these microphones look like and that I don't want a big ass microphone like that. Maybe they have some in another section. Hold on, let me walk over to the other side. For Best Buy to be going out of business, they sure don't have no sales going on. I think they just playing in our faces and they're not really going out of business because any company that's going out of business, they would have sales going on. I don't see no sales. Let me focus real quick, hold on. Y'all, I'm about to get pissed off because I found the mics, but this one is $80. The wearable mic that I'm looking for. This is what this one starts at. And then it only goes up. Some of them they don't even have on display. And then girl, here's Sony. Girl, I'm about to go to Target real quick and see what they got at Target because and then check this out okay so i just googled this little camera right here i just googled it tell me why it's going for 650 dollars or something like that girl this little small you see that box right there that little small little itty bitty thing is going for 600 okay okay oh okay all right like i said i'm about to just go to target because best buy got me fucked up um i understand they might be going out of business and this that and the third but your selection i mean it's probably going to be more than what they have at target because target's not like a electronic store but target okay let me just see what they got at target because i promise you i'm about to get pissed off it's one thing for you guys to be going out of business and not having the biggest selection because your stock is running low but at the same time if you're going out of business you need to have some good deals to try and get the customers in and save your brand and save your um company anyways I'm heading to Target right now. I'm about to look at what the selection is at Target. And as much as I hate Walmart, I might just have to go to Walmart too because Walmart does have cheaper prices for stuff. So yeah, maybe one, maybe Walmart will have that Sony camera on rollback because that small starter camera, what, girl, that Sony ZV-120.1, Girl, that starter camera was $650. I Googled it. I Googled it. That's the price on Google. Girl, that don't make no sense. That doesn't make any sense to me. I just wanted a small starter camera. Maybe everyone's becoming an influencer and Sony and Canon are like, oh, we can make a whole lot of money. We can upcharge the price on it. Girl, fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. Girl, that's how I feel. Fuck you. Lower the, keep the prices low. Keep them prices low, bitch. All right, y'all, so their selection at Target is actually small as hell, but I was able to find this little mini mic and it's only $32. $32 is better than 79 or whatever the fuck it was at Best Buy for that little tiny mic. And it comes with a, um, and it comes with a car mount and a windshield mount for my car, which is exactly what I was talking about earlier in the video. But as for like the cameras, they only have Canon. Like they don't have any Sony. I really like that Sony camera because it just felt better. It felt better in the hand. It felt better quality. So, but the only thing is that Sony camera was $5.99 and this Canon EOS Rebel T7 is like 479. Yeah, they have the Canon camera here, which is the same one at Best Buy for 479. So it's like mm, I don't know. But I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to also check Walmart real quick because I think Walmart might also have Oh, also, hold on because I'm not getting these ones, but they also have like Polaroid 
camcorders and a Vivitar digital camera. Um, I'm not looking for anything like that. Like the, those, it's given, I don't know what it's given. I want something a little bit more quality than that. So I'm not gonna go for that, but they did have that here. I just want to make that known, but yeah, that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm kind of looking for either the Canon or the Sony. So yeah, but anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna go to Walmart real quick and see what Walmart has. So catch y'all at Walmart. All right, here we are at Walmart, y'all. We at Walmart. I'm not gonna hold you. I usually hate shopping at Walmart because it's just loud and ghetto. Hold on, let me get inside. It's so warehousey in here. Like, this literally looks like when I used to work at a warehouse. Look at this. The warehouse shelves. Girl, the rickety baskets. Oh my goodness. But the prices do be cheaper here, so I guess I can't talk too much shit. Where are the cameras at? And they got this ghetto ass Walmart radio on, like, shut this off. Where's the cameras at? I'm ready to get up out of here already. Hold on. Are these cameras or camera accessories? Okay, they got these little itty bitty children's cameras. Okay. I don't need a children's camera. I need an actual... What the heck? Uh, do y'all see five dollars for a tiny microphone? Oh, but that goes on the on your phone. Okay, wait, what? That's not even, girl. Okay, never mind. That was for whatever this is, not the microphone kit. The microphone kit is fifteen dollars. Y'all, there's already some ghetto antics going on. But anyways, um, they have the, the T7 that I was looking at in Target, but they don't have the price for it. This is a different camera. That's the T100. So, and that's the M200, and that's, that's a different camera. Like, they don't have, they don't have the price listed but they have it on display. That doesn't make any sense to me. Also, they have all these Kodak cameras, but I don't know if I trust Kodak, but these are all the cameras they have. Have y'all heard of these cameras? I'm asking y'all like y'all are gonna give me advice. Like I'm talking to a camera professional. If I'm completely honest, I think I might just go back to Best Buy and suck it up and get that camera, that Sony one. Cause I just like the quality of that one better. I really do. I really do like the quality of that one. We'll see, hold on. Yes. Girl, let me get about this store real quick, hold on. Loud and ghetto, like I said. Like I said, I don't really shop at Walmart no more because it is, it is not cute in, in Walmart. It is so loud, it is so ghetto. There was this lady in there. Um, asking for a price for one of them Obama phones that they got in there and she was just being a real bitch um what was I saying okay so they have a few Canon cameras in Walmart but it was none of the models that I seen in Best Buy or in Target like no not even in Target yeah in Target Target had the Canon cameras Target just didn't have Sony but um i take that as those cameras are super cheap and super poor quality because it's not even in best buy and it's not in target like i only seen those cameras at walmart and they're really cheap price which i take as like i don't know like i don't know i'm probably i'm probably losing out because those could be good cameras and I'm just not doing my research or giving them a chance, but 
I don't know. I just have this whole stigma with Walmart. Walmart is always selling me cheap shit. Like the prices are cheap, but the quality is cheap as well. Like, I don't know. So I'm just going to go back to Best Buy. I'm going to suck it up and get that, um, that Sony camera for $600. Damn. That's $600. Do they sell cameras anywhere else? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But I'm going to go back to Best Buy and see what it is. And then I'm going to go to Target and get that um, microphone. And then, yeah, that'll be it. All right, y'all. So I got the microphone. I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to see what it sounds like. Can you hear me? Is this thing on? All right, so the car is on, the AC is blowing, and I wanna see what this sounds like. Can you hear my AC blasting? I'm holding the microphone up to the AC. Can you hear me? Now, what about now? Cause I don't, I just think this isn't the best mic ever. And I'm honestly considering taking it back. Okay, I actually take back what I said because that shit cut out all the AC noise. Oh, I gotta yell whenever I get in my car. So, this mic is doing something. I just wish the cord was longer because it can it comes with this cord and it like stretches, but it says this cord is supposed to be used for like, it says that cord is supposed to be used with a camera and um camcorders audio recorders and other and this short cable is for smartphones tablets and laptops so yeah i don't want to hold this like this while i'm driving though like unless this sounds good can you still hear can you still hear me but i don't want to drive with one hand and this this isn't a windshield mount. This is just a mount. Because on the box, I thought it said a windshield mount. But no, it says windshield, comma, mount, comma, cable. Not windshield mount and cable. No, windshield. This is the wind shield. And then this is the mount where you can mount it onto a tripod and it comes with the cable so yeah let me try the other cable real quick all right y'all i tried the other cord that other cord does not work um so i'm stuck holding it like this in my hand until i get a better cord please don't hit this bitch's car please don't hit this shopping cart okay there we go all right so now that I have better audio and that my um AC isn't blasting through the microphone and ruining my footage or maybe I should have got one of those wireless ones no because I didn't want to have to charge it and stuff I just wanted to plug it into my phone and or plug it into my camera so let me tell you what the deal is with the camera so they actually didn't have the camera that I wanted in stock, so I had to order it, and they're gonna ship it to my house, and it should be here at my house within like two days. But I went and got the Sony, um, what's the camera called? The Sony something. The Sony, the Sony A6100, 6100, A61, Alpha 6100. Um, I went and got that one, the um, the mirrorless Sony A6100. So I got the Sony 6100A, and my reason for choosing the Sony 6100A over the um, can you stop saying Sony 6100A and just say the Sony? Um, I got the Sony camera over the Canon camera because that Canon camera 
it didn't have a screen to where you can like flip it and see yourself on the Sony you can flip the screen towards yourself so you can see yourself while you're recording with the Canon camera I would have had to purchase a completely different um, monitor a camera monitor so I can like record myself and see myself in like the viewfinder I was looking on Amazon and those things went for they started at like $99 and they went up from there so it was like if I did get that Canon camera for like $480 I would have had to spend another hundred dollars the second reason that I got it is because the Sony one actually does autofocus for you the Sony was like a good $100 over the Canon camera so that was pathetic but at the end of the day my goal was to go out and get a pretty decent quality camera and that's what I got okay y'all so I'm back home and I think I'm going to go back to Best Buy and get the other microphone that I can just pin on my shirt and hopefully that cord is longer. Let me show y'all how short this damn cord is. Do you, can you see that? Can you see how short this cord is? And then I rewatched the video, the footage that I just recorded in the car and the bitch was making popping noises. That shit was crumbling and crackling and popping and- When I did research, I only- You can- the fuck like i'm thinking i'm just gonna go and get the other microphone from best buy i'll try and go back to best buy later on today or later on tonight and get the other microphone and see how that works out tomorrow all right y'all so it's the next day um i did get the mic it's not plugged in right now i'm gonna test it right now actually but i did get the mic so yeah All right, y'all, so I'm about to be pissed off because I just went to Best Buy right now and returned the other microphone. It didn't work for whatever reason. So I went and bought this $80 one. This was $80, and if you don't believe me, I have the receipt right here. This shit cost me $79.99, and the total price was $86.80. I bought that $80 one, I tried it right now, and that bitch don't fucking work. Uh-uh, I might as well just keep this one from Target, and that's why I didn't return this one to Target. I didn't return this yet because this is the only mic that I was able to get to work. The only mic that I was able to get to work. We're gonna cheer up, we're gonna cheer up. I'm gonna get Canes right now, actually, because Canes is like right up there, and I haven't had Canes in a few days. But I'm tired of going in and out, and in and out, and in and out of this Best Buy. like. I'm tired of seeing their faces. I'm tired of seeing them. I'm tired of them seeing me. Like, they done seen me so often that it's embarrassing every single time I walk in there and see the same two faces. Like, I'm tired. I'm sick and I'm tired. And I, I don't want to face the embarrassment of going back in there to return yet another product or try and buy another product. Like... I'm sick. I'm sick and tired of this Best Buy. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna just start buying stuff off of Amazon like everyone else. No wonder their shit is going out of business. Because, bitch, why... Okay. Why are the products not working? Like, granted, this little Target mic is not the best. But, bitch, it, it, it at least works. And it is functioning. Let me get some Cane's Chicken. I'm gonna eat some chicken, and then I am going to go to a different Best Buy and return this bitch ass product and get my $80 back. Because bitch, they got me fully fucked up with that fucking price point. I know you fucking lying for the shit not to work. Mm -mm. No, absolutely not. Hey, hey, you want some hot fresh chicken today? Hi, can I get the box combo? No coleslaw, one extra cane sauce, and an Arnold Palmer Easy Ice. 
Second one doesn't give. Thank you, too. Okay, so let me try this wind shield because y'all can hear all that wind coming through on my um on my um AC. Like it's blowing like a windy day and this AC is blasting. And I'm not turning it down. <laughs> Bitch, it's hot as fuck. It's 83 degrees, the sun is out in full effect, and it is magnifying off of my um windshield. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Can you still hear the wind? Is the wind blowing inside of this mic? Can you hear this shit? If not, let me know, please. And stop fucking playing with me, thank you. Y'all, technology is really pissing me off today because why are you giving me all these issues? My food getting cold. Hold on. Bitch. I'm over here fumbling around with this mic. Let me take a bite of my bread. Okay, the first initial bite is giving Play-Doh. Why? Okay. That's why you dip it in the sauce like this. And I know y'all are talking about, Isaiah, why would you dip bread in the sauce? Because bitch is good. I paid extra for this sauce and I'm finna get my full use. Bitch, if you don't like bread with sauce, fuck off. Y'all, I have not had canes in a minute. These fries are extra crunchy today. Oh my God. They are so crunchy. <laughs> Hold on, wait. That one wasn't that crunchy. Now listen. Can you hear that? These fries are extra crunchy today. And I wanted to tell y'all about my Disney experience working for Disney. If you're a returning subscriber, you would know I signed a contract to work with Disney Cruise Line on the Disney Wonder. It was my first ever time working for Disney. And it was my first ever time working on a cruise ship. Okay, I think I need to put this chicken down because I can't keep stuffing my face up with chicken. Was that was that unnecessary? I did not need to dig in this container. But this sauce is good. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, yes, it is that good that I'm digging my finger in here. Like. Y'all, I promise you, you take a bite of this chicken and then you drink some Arnold Palmer. It's gonna hit. It's gonna hit different. Don't even play with it. It's gonna hit. Thank you, Canes, for always having my back and always having some good food. Do they have disco balls hanging up inside of Canes? Does every Canes have disco balls hanging up inside their lobby? Can you see the disco balls spinning in there? The shiny things inside of there? Does every Canes have disco balls in their restaurant? Let me know. All right, so like I was saying, Disney Cruise Line. So I was on the Disney Wonder. Yeah. Oh. First time working on a cruise ship, first time working for Disney. Working on a cruise ship is fun, but it's also not for the week. Actually, is it really fun? No! The traveling aspect of working on a cruise ship is fun. First, initially, like being out in the middle of the ocean, you're surrounded by water, it's blue skies and sunshine and blue waters, and it's nice, it's a different experience. But, and big butt, big, big butt. When you start to feel like the motion of the ocean and all the waves and stuff, that seasickness being your first time working on a cruise ship, you can feel every single shift, every single rock, every single wave, every single everything. It's not cute, especially for your first time ever working on a cruise. I get seasick. Like I figured out that I definitely get seasick and I'm not even talking about like rough sea days where it's like storming and stuff like that. No, just regular coasting on calm waters and regular waves and stuff. I get seasick because having to dance and sing and act and perform while you're like experiencing like headaches and stuff from the motion of the ocean and 
all of that stuff, it's not cute. And then when it's rough seas. Yeah. Oh. Those waves get huge. We felt like we were on a roller coaster the way this boat would like drop. And like the entire boat like literally dropped and you felt it like your feet damn near left the ground when the boat would like drop like a big ass wave and it just dropped. Like it's not for the weak. Not everyone has a um, an iron stomach. A lot of people have weak stomachs, especially the guest girl. So rough seas, it's a bunch of people throwing up all over the floor. And sometimes the weather is so bad that like the outside deck is like closed. You you can't go outside because it's like flooded with rain. <gasps> oh, flooded with rain, high winds. Like girl, all the all the furniture is like blowing around in the wind. Girl, no, absolutely not. Also, the safety rules um Working with Disney, you're technically a part of the crew. They make you a crew member. I know other cruise lines, you, they'll, um, other cruise lines have contracts where you're not considered crew. You're considered like, not a special guest. What is it? Um, I don't know what the terminology is for other cruise ship contracts, but, um, for Disney, you are a part of the crew and you have to attend safety drills and safety classes and all of that shebang. I was an assembly leader for um the guest drills. If you don't know what a guest drill is, I don't know if this is the same way on every single ship. Again, this is my first time ever working on a cruise ship. Guests attend a safety drill. Some members of crew will be a part of like an assembly team. There's assembly stations that each guest is assigned to. So there's the crew, and then there's the assembly leader. But I was the assembly leader. They made me assembly leader on my first contract. I didn't know what I was doing. So that was annoying. Basically what that meant was I had to go and get the, um, the little safety tablet and the safety clipboard and the, um, and the walkie talkie. I had to assist that person with checking in each and every single guest that comes to our assembly station. Also, um, you have to be the person that leads all the guests out to the lifeboat in case there's an abandoned ship. It was too much. It was too much. It was too much for my first ever contract. It was too much. It was too much. It's too much. I did not enjoy that. What else? Oh, girl, the crew mess. Let's talk about that crew mess because I definitely did not like that either. If you don't know what the crew mess is, the crew mess on ships is basically um, the crew eating area. That is the designated area for the crew to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So number one, what I didn't like was the food, of course, because that was like a school cafeteria food. And it's no shade to the, um, to the cooks because I know the cooks are back there slaving away all damn day cooking meals for a thousand crew members. But at the same time, Y'all can add some adobo, y'all can add some garlic salt, y'all could add some seasoning to that damn food. My next thing I didn't like about the crew mess is the fact that it was always so messy. Like, like it's one thing for the crew mess to already be at the bottom of the ship where it's already like a dungeon, it's dark and scary, it looks like a warehouse. But then for it to like just be dirty and dingy and nasty and the floor was always wet, people slipping and sliding oh my god like it was just so messy and nasty in there like girl like the food was nasty the area was nasty i did not like eating at the crew mess now let's get into the cabin when we first boarded the boat during our crossover period they put a lot of us in state rooms a state room is pretty much a guest cap not a guest cabin a guest room where a regular guest would sleep at like a hotel room but on a boat. The stateroom was decent on the Disney Wonder. The Disney Wonder is also one of their older ships. I think it's their second oldest. It's the Disney Magic and then the Disney Wonder. Yeah. So the boat was old. The stateroom was old, but it was at least clean and updated. For the staterooms, they come in and clean the staterooms like three times a day, which is cute because 
those state rooms are small if you have kids you want a clean room but after our crossover period ended we got put in our cabins and baby those cabins were old dusty decrepit and scary it's bad enough that the crew cabins are small but to be outdated like and it's disney like let's let me start off there this is disney you're working for disney disney is a billion dollar corporation right a billion dollar or million they should be in the billions by how much shit that they own because i didn't even know they own a bunch of sports networks a bunch of different movie companies do they own hulu now all these different things that disney owns on top of them being disney they should be in the billions so you would think disney would put a little bit of money into updating their crew stuff updating the crew cabins updating the crew mess having some somewhat decent food for the crew members in the crew mess like the same way they can update and renovate the state rooms for the guests you would think they would do that for the crew no baby first of all day one i get into my cabin and that's another thing because i had a roommate we'll get into that we'll get into that we'll get into that um our bathroom light flickered every single time you went to turn it on it would flicker before it officially like turns on our bathroom door was missing a lock and they didn't come and fix that lock until like two three months into my contract like halfway through my contract because my contract was six months we had a broken bathroom lock for like a good two months and then the beds that bunk bed oh my god that bunk bed was like a child's bunk bed bro look at the size of this damn bunk this is what I mean when I say them bunk beds were small as fuck. Oh my God, look at how close my head is to the ceiling already. And then you know them bunk beds had to be small. Look at how low the ceilings are. And then the furniture was old, the desk was old, the little wardrobe was old. Like everything was old and dusty and dirt, not dirty, but like, and I had a roommate. So let's get into that. Imagine me because I'm already over six foot. I'm six foot one, six foot two, something like that. Being roomed up with another person that is also over six foot. We got all of our shit, all of our clothes, all of our knickknacks, all of our little blankets and everything. Imagine two six foot tall ass bitches being in one small itty bitty cabin with a little itty bitty bunk bed. Baby, I could not fit in the bunk bed. I was literally hunched over like this, trying to sit down. I could not sit down. The only way I could be in the bunk bed is by laying down. I can understand, like you can get used to the bunk bed situation and the roommate situation, but to have a bunk bed and to have a roommate, but also the cabin is like old and everything's like outdated and the light switch is like, Oh my God, my food is getting so cold. I've already been here for like 30 fucking minutes. I just didn't like the crew cabins. The crew cabins were dusty, dirty, dingy, outdated, and not likable. Especially not being a six foot giant sharing a room with another six foot giant and you got all your shit in that little tiny ass room. Uh-uh, I did not like that, not one bit. I also didn't like how many rules and like Disney has some rules that are like stupid. Like what the fuck? One of them being you're not allowed to record in like certain crew areas, which basically meant like you can't record like yourself rehearsing, you can't record yourself in the dressing room, you can't record yourself backstage, you can't record yourself in the crew um in the crew mess. You can't even record yourself in the crew mess. You can't record yourself in the I-95. You can't any crew area you're not allowed to record in other than like maybe your cabin, which I found to be kind of dumb. Like I can understand not recording stuff that would like put the company at risk but to not be able to record like the stuff that you do on your contract working for the sh working for the damn company i wanted to record myself rehearsing so i can like vlog i wanted to record my shows you couldn't even record the shows we had to have our friends sneak in and record the shows which is why the footage that i have of my performance footage is like so not good quality is because my friends had to sit there with the phone snuck in like this hold it under their arm and stuff like girl no like that rule is so fucking dumb and again not all companies are like that but disney disney just has the way that they operate because they have this um they have this image that they try and uphold 
where it's like this magical image and they don't want people to know how things work and how things operate. If you've ever been like on a Disney cruise or to a Disney park and you've like asked like really specific questions about like the Disney characters and like the crew members give you some bullshit answer it's because they're literally like trained to give you a bullshit answer like you're supposed to do that with Disney like they want to keep the magic like what the fuck there's so many more things that i can talk about with that keeping the magic bullshit but yeah they just have rules and regulations that are just so ugh. and it's because it's disney like disney is just disney and it's so annoying but anyways that was pretty much my experience working for disney and working on the Disney Wonder and working for my first ever cruise job. I may consider doing another cruise ship contract just for the ease of like not necessarily having to worry about paying for housing and paying for food, but it definitely won't be Disney. I'll be considering a different company, um, partly because I don't like Disney. And another reason is I got fired from Disney. <laughs> Y'all, I done got fired from Disney. Well, technically not fired, but they terminated my contract early. And I only had like a month left of my contract. And girl, they fired me. Why did they fire me? Because of this video. What's this? Because, and I know what you guys are gonna say. It's a chicken tender. No. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, guys, don't be mad at me, but I'm going to put the story time on how I got fired in another video because this video is already getting super long and the story time is going to be like another 15 to 20 minutes. So just be on the lookout for another video. Hopefully I'll get it edited and posted soon, but no story time in this one. Anyways, um, let me go back home because, bitch... My food is probably cold as fuck. I got this AC blowing. I'm just sitting in the Canes parking lot talking shit about Disney. Let me go back home. I've already been recording for an hour. I'm about to fill my storage right back up. Okay, let me go back home. All right, guys, I'm back home. And I think I decided I'm just going to purchase a microphone off the TikTok shop because literally they have microphones for like $5.99 and $6.99 on the TikTok shop. And I can, um, since I'm a part of the TikTok shop, um, I'm a part of the TikTok shop creator shop thingy. So I can like make a video on the microphone on TikTok and make some money by talking about the microphone that I purchased on TikTok. So I think I'm just gonna do that because yeah, why would I not? One, it's cheaper and two, I can make money. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna be completely honest. I can, I can go that route, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to return because I still haven't returned that microphone to Best Buy. Anyways, um, Disney. So that was my Disney experience, y'all. I will not be returning to Disney. That was not cute. It started off cool. Like rehearsals and everything were cool because it's like when you're rehearsing for shows and stuff, especially for the first time, like I've been trying to become a dancer and like make dancing into a career for ever since I graduated high school, honestly, like, and I'm 24 now. So I had been trying for years to turn dance into a career. So it's like the beginning when I'm like rehearsing and stuff like that, the performing part of the contract was really cool. Like being able to dance and do shows and stuff like that. Like I liked that. I did enjoy dancing i enjoyed traveling um i've never been to australia before i've never been to new caledonia before like just being able to see new places and stuff like that i will give them credit well i not necessarily disney but they did hire me so i guess i got to give disney credit but um i will give them that like i wouldn't have been able to experience those things just the company as a whole disney is not for me like again watching disney channel growing up and that's all i did i watched disney channel i was not big with the disney princesses i went to disneyland like once when i was seven years old anyways my whole background with disney was not being a disney fan so yeah that's partly why i was wearing a spongebob hoodie on the disney boat <laughs> like i like nickelodeon a little bit well i can't even say that because all that shit with dan schneider and all that anyways disney is just not for me i was never a big disney fan 
and working for the company it's just not no and even though they said you can still technically work for the company i don't want to work for the company I, disney no 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 it's just too many it's too many negatives to to justify the positives that I got with working for the company. I'd rather work with a different company. Because other companies I've heard, um, the benefits and every, not the benefits, your privileges that you get like to be able to eat in guest areas and not have to do like safety drills and stuff like that. Like I've heard you get better privileges with other companies. So if I were to do another cruise contract because cruising, other than getting seasick and all the maritime labor laws and stuff like that, I didn't even talk about the maritime labor laws. I was working pretty much seven days a week on that boat because maritime labor laws, if I can get a screenshot, I'll put the screenshot up here, but working on a cruise ship and being subjected to maritime labor laws is very different than working a regular nine to five. I'm not going to get into that, but that part of the cruise ship job was not cute either. But anyways, um, that was my Disney experience. I will not be returning to Disney again, but um, I will maybe consider working another cruise ship job. Not at the moment. I am worn out from cruising. It's been two months and I still need a break. Like I, I don't want to get on another cruise for the next few months, like maybe even a full year. Like I need a break. That was traumatizing. Anyways, I'm going to order the mic off of TikTok shop. Like I said, my camera should get here tomorrow. The next day. Don't look at my address. Y'all, I said don't look at my address. And little did I know that sticker on the front of the box had my address on it. And I'm just over here flashing my address to the camera. I know you fucking lie. Now, why the fuck? What does that say? I don't care. God damn, why this shit so tight in this damn box? How do you take this off? <coughs> Look. <laughs> Let's get serious. The battery's dead. I gotta charge it. Let me read the instructions so I can know what the fuck to do. Okay, so you can charge the battery while it's inside the camera. Oh, okay. Oh. Now why is it micro USB and not USB type C? <sighs> This can go in the slot up here, and then you screw it down. You put the microphone on this bitch, and now 
like you got the microphone on your camera. This is why I got this camera. So you see the screen on the back? You can pull it up like this. And then you can take it out like this. And then you pull it up like this. So you can see what you're, it's, it's so you can see yourself. And then you put it down like this. And you do it down like this. And you put it down like this. And then you do it I got my camera. I got my camera. The next day. So today I am going to be shopping around for lenses now because I need a lens in order to take pictures and record videos and stuff. I'm still on my phone. But I know you guys are probably like, just shop on Amazon, shop on eBay, shop online. I, I like to see the lenses in person and if they have it in stock, I would prefer to get it today rather than wait because I wanna use my camera today. I'm gonna make an attempt to just make this video and be outside all day because they're putting in an AC unit or they should be putting in an AC unit. My condo is having work done and they're replacing the AC units to put in updated ones. They're gonna be like in and out of the condo. Can you see that big hole in the wall? Let me show you. They had to open up the wall, take out the old one, put in new pipes and this is what my wall looks like. And they should be installing the units today. Should be, fingers crossed, because it's approaching summertime and I definitely want my AC. All right, I got my glasses on, I got my Crocs and um, my camera and wallet and glasses and car keys. So we're gonna go. Okay, I wish they put some more avocado on it, but this is really cute. All right, let me walk the path of hopefully avoiding the workers. They really try to hustle you here. Y'all, when I say they hustle you, I mean that with my whole coochie. These employees are in there trying to sell you a product. Okay, whatever it is that you may be looking for, they are going to try and get that for you and hustle and haggle you into purchasing a product. Okay, when they said they're shutting down, they mean business. They are so aggressive. <laughs> they said, oh, we're going out of business for real. So try and hustle these people. Girl, they try and sell you everything here. They want to assist you in a purchase. Where are the lenses? Y'all, I'm about to be so pissed off right now because their selection of lenses is crap. That's all they have. And there's only one Sony lens. Like what? So let me go on ahead and go to this other Best Buy. The other Best Buy supposedly has one left in stock of the one that I'm looking for. So we're gonna hope that that's the case because I'm actually sick and tired. I understand they're going out of business so they don't have the stock that they would usually have. But at the same time, y'all gotta do just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. Just a little bit better because other than those two Sony lenses, all the other lenses were Canon and they only had three Canon lenses. So there was two Sony ones and three Canon lenses. And all the Canon lenses, I don't even know if Canon lenses work with Sony, but even if they did, this place didn't have the millimeters that I was looking for. I'm just gonna go to another Best Buy and see if they have the ones in stock like how it says online. They said they had one left. Fuck Best Buy at this point. All right, y'all. I drove all the way from the Tulsa Hills 
shopping center to the Woodland Hills shopping center because apparently they should have a better selection of lenses here. Sony lenses, that is. So please, 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 because there's only one more Best Buy and I don't think they would have any more lenses than they would at these two stores. So, who please, 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 please. Okay, let's go inside. We are already doing better. Look at this. <laughs> All these lenses. Girl, I should have came here first, to be completely honest. Two hours later. Oh my God, y'all, okay. I got, okay. Let me tell y'all in the car, hold on. Okay guys, so, wait, I don't have my microphone plugged in. Who cares? They actually had a better one. Better? Was this the one that was, uh, was I even looking for? This is like a ultra, 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 ultra wide. Anyways, the guy was able to get me a better lens. This one was only, it was still expensive, girl, but this one was only $6.49, so $50 less than the, um, than the actual camera. And it was actually like the millimeters, it, it actually exceeded the amount of millimeters that I wanted. So I was looking for a 16 millimeter and this one is a 10 to 20. Like the lower millimeters you go, the wider angle it is so you can see yourself in the camera. Because if you go with like a 55 millimeter, it's gonna be like this close. It's gonna be like all the way zoomed in. So the, the less amount of millimeters is the wider angle. You want a wider angle. So when I'm vlogging and holding my camera up like this, like it won't be like looking like this. It'll be like actually zoomed out. Let me show you. This is what it looks like. It's getting hot in here already. I'm excited talking to y'all about this camera shit. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so ecstatic. I'm so happy. Y'all, my storage is so fucking full. I just had to delete more footage off of my phone because um, my storage is fucked. Anyways, this is why I can't wait to start using my camera. Anyways, so... As I was showing y'all, this is what the lens looks like. <laughs> and, um, bitch, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you see how far away that is and how it's like not up close. And I'm holding this like right up to the camera and see how far away it is. Like you can still like see and it's like a wide angle. That's why I got this bitch. So I can hold the phone like this. I can hold the phone. I can hold my camera like this and it's literally like not far away. Like, I wish I can turn around like this. Can you see me? That little tiny little screen. Can you see how I'm like holding it right up to my face like this? And it's still like, you can see me talking. You see that? And that's why I wanted uh, a 16 millimeter. And then you can zoom. It can zoom in and zoom out. You see it zooming in and zooming out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'm so happy i'll see you guys back at the condo all right y'all so okay so as y'all can hear um there's construction going on i got back to the condo and they were actually right in the middle of putting the ac unit in the wall so there's probably not gonna be much that i'm gonna record here because the let me show you yeah so like i said i'm not gonna do too much here i'm literally gonna find an outfit we're gonna put together a little outfit and get ready to go and i'm not gonna stay here like literally i'm not about to be here while they're putting that thing in the wall so yeah let's hurry up and pick out an outfit all right y'all change your plans don't hate me but they ended up leaving and i decided you know what i'm actually not going to take pictures today. I actually have a lot of footage to edit. I'm actually just going to take what I recorded today and put it together with what I recorded um, for the other vlogs. So that's actually going to all be put together. 
Okay, so this is my camera. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Let me show you guys. But this is the camera. Oh my gosh, can you see the screen? Oh my gosh, it went from 99 to 97 that quick. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get one of those um, big batteries or maybe I have to get multiple batteries because 2% in the one minute and 25, 26 seconds that I've been recording is kind of crazy. And on that note, now is going to be the end of the video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe, share, like, and comment. Please subscribe and share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm begging you to please subscribe. Subscribe. I'm not playing with you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.